It's time we stop treating child care as a side issue or as a women's issue and treat it like the national economic priority that it is for all of us. Dollars that we spend early on, on our most needy kids, will pay huge rewards down the road. Every three and four year old in Vermont will have access to publicly funded pre-K education this coming school year. A law passed in 2014 provides kids with 10 hours a week. Quality child care is essential to our economy. And I'm here today to tell you that I'm an advocate and a listening partner. Now is such an important time because there's so much awareness on the national level and on the state level about the importance of high quality affordable child care to support working families. We've learned so much about the science of early childhood development and fundamentally more and more businesses are realizing the impact, the negative impact that it's having on economic development. So it's just an opportune moment for us to capitalize on. There are many projects out there, but few have the rate of return of early childhood investments. And so in that sense, they, this should be a favorite project by anybody, whether or not they're Republican or Democratic or any other party line. You could essentially both simultaneously reduce inequality and increase productivity in the society by investing in early childhood programs. I think early childhood as a whole has always been supported by the state of Vermont, and we've been innovative in what we do here. And to continue that work is really, really important. Our Stalled at the Start report has shown us that nearly 50% of children likely to need care don't have access to any regulated care across the state. We have some challenges before us, but we've got to roll up our sleeves and start finding solutions together as Vermonters. Having worked on this field and having had conversations with not only providers, but also single parents, um, and really hearing about the challenges that they are facing when it comes to being able to not only find a good quality childcare that they trust, but also being able to afford it. It kind of gives me that extra motivation. In my work in the legislature, I serve on the Economic Development Committee. And before I was in the legislature, I worked locally on workforce development. And it's a huge impediment. Our workforce is gonna age out, and a lot of those folks are gonna feel like they can't enter the workforce because there is no viable affordable, high quality child care. You know, this is not just about our individual child. This change is about Vermont and what Vermont's gonna look like in 2030, in 2040, in 2050. If parents of young children are confident that their kids are well taken care of during the day and are in good hands, they're gonna do a much better job. From, from purely a business point of view, it makes complete sense. You cannot keep settling the cost of quality on the backs of providers in our state. When Let's Grow Kids became an organization and began working in the field, it was like something we've waited for for a long time. We have pioneers in this state that are starting to say, we've done our work and they're ready to hand off the baton to other people and that's where people like me come in to, to pick up the the work and lead it through. So we have a network of over a thousand campaign ambassadors. These rock star volunteers are willing to take time out of their weeknights, out of their weekend, uh, many of whom are parents and childcare providers who have their own stressful lives and time commitments, but they understand how important this issue is. I can't tell you what it's like to pull into the full service gas station in St. Johnsbury and have the guy who's owned that service station for years say, boy, you know, I saw one of those commercials. It's so exciting to see that if we all work together, we're gonna get there. In my region, I have a lot of people that actually might identify as like Republicans or Democrats or progressives, and everyone's coming together and saying that early childhood really is a priority and touches every other issue. A couple weeks ago, we met with the chief budget writer in the house and before we could even start talking about issues, she started talking about zero to five and why it's so important. And that's just, you know, two and a half years changed. It's amazing to me that this is both a state conversation, but really a national conversation. Everybody from our gubernatorial candidates 
talking about it to presidential candidates talking about it. We have to approach this incrementally and know that we can get there incrementally. So this is not something that's going to change overnight, but we can't continue to backslide. It's too critical. Change does not happen in our democracy, in our state, in our state house without people in communities talking to their legislators. I feel like we have a real potential to, to do something here in Vermont, do something that hasn't been done. We need to build public will in every corner of the state in order to prioritize young children and frankly in order to prioritize public investment into high quality affordable childcare. So we need these action teams to talk to their neighbors, to talk to their legislators and really call for change and there's no way that we can do that alone. You know it's one thing for me to drive out here to go down to Randolph to talk to people down there about, high, about supporting high quality affordable childcare. It's another thing having one member of their own community, somebody that they know, to come and talk to them. So that's one of the reasons why we really need um, action team members, is really to have folks who can actually relate. I live in Burlington and I'm going to live in Colchester and that's wonderful and so like those are the legislators that I would target in my personal life, you know, like my personal legislators. And they will listen to me because I'm one of their constituents. But you know, someone from Rutland County is not necessarily going to think that what I have to say is super important. Um, but they do with the people that live there. It was a no-brainer for me. Um, I know the Northeast Kingdom, I know the providers, I've worked with them directly for many years. We'll help you build skills, we'll help you build the confidence and show you really how easy it is to engage uh, with discussions with your representatives and senators so that they can make the change that we need. We need everybody in Vermont to drive a legislative agenda to drive people into seeing that unless we provide opportunities for quality early care and education across the board and take the weight of that off of parents, we're not going to be creating the citizens we want to drive our economy into the future. My hope is that action teams will change the world someday. We in Vermont say that we want to be good stewards of the land. And I would love people to talk about our human resources as something that we're also good stewards of. I see people talking about early childhood not just in their homes in an isolated way, but actually talking about it at the grocery store, um, talking about it at town meeting day. Now's the time for early childhood in the state of Vermont and we can do this if we work together. This is an achievable goal, like it, it's huge, but it also feels really achievable. There's an obligation for us as a society to, to grow strong citizens. The money that we spend now in helping families to have high quality childcare, it helps all of us down the road. You know, we have to do the work in the districts, we have to get folks engaged, but I know that it can happen. We want a citizenry that will support the state of Vermont, because we can't continue to do it. You know, we're going to depend on the children today to cover our backs tomorrow. Bottom line, we better do a good job. <laughs>